Hey, it's Trey, and thanks for stopping by the desk today, and I know why you're here. <laughs> so we're going to harvest this Yankee candle. Um, I didn't even bother getting out my circle punch. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out the staples. I need to work on my November daily. But I've got to think, I've got to really look at the images and think what song it makes me think of, or what feeling I get, and what song has that feeling, that kind of stuff. It's like I get caught up and then I immediately get behind. Plus, I've got to reprint out a picture, or I've got to decide if I'm just going to use that sliver of the picture because it didn't print out correctly. And I found that I'm not the only one that had that problem. Okay, now here we go. Let's just do it like this. Let's just start from the middle. I always love these. Now I just took a shower too, so I'm going to be scratching myself to death. Because... I don't know what it is, but something makes me just itch incessantly after I take a shower or after I change my clothes. I've read a lot of things that says, oh, it's dry skin. And I'm like, okay, great. Dry skin. Dry skin. Let me moisturize. Does it help? No. No, no, no. It really doesn't. So I'm beginning to think it's just my kidneys because... I have kidney damage from when I was younger. I took a sulfa drug when they first came out and uh, at the time they didn't know that it could damage your kidneys. I'm setting the bigger ones aside. So I was the lucky one that ended up with kidney damage. Woo! So and the last time I went to the doctor, she did tell me that my levels were not where they were supposed to be. They were creeping up. So, that would also account for itchiness if my kidneys are doing that. Because um, your kidneys can cause you to itch. Look at all these bite marks, scratch marks on my uh, on my arms. <laughs> Loving cats. It's hard. <laughs> A new festive fragrance. Christmas tree, Christmas wish, crisp holiday sage, sugar plum, and balsam forest. I remember Christmas tree smelling pretty good. The most thoughtful gift. Let's go on. Next. Make this recipe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> man, oh man. My dream candle. What would my dream candle be? Hmm. Probably clove. And, um. Uh, hmm. Cardamom. <laughs> clove and cardamom. I wonder what that would smell like together. Now I want to know. Uh, somebody mix that up and let me know. Throw that in my little desk journal. Here's my little desk journal. I gave these away to the girls and I had a couple left over. So I'm using it as a little desk journal. <clears throat> Meantime, I have a little something to throw in it. We just got food at Peyton Manning's new place today. Peyton's place. 
uh it's good huge i got a fish sandwich it was huge i couldn't even finish it i put up half for later oh i love the wood wick ones oh, i love that do i want am i going to color a yankee candle Use your colorful Sharpie marker to decorate this page with your dream candle fragrance. <laughs> I'll do like that. <clears throat> So itchy. Mm, it just feels like an ant is biting me. It's like I'll be sitting there and I'll be fine, and then all of a sudden it just feels like an ant bit me. And then I had to scratch it. Oh, just hurts so badly. And you can't ignore it. It's awful if it does it like on my legs and it makes me jump. I got one on the back of my legs. Y'all, excuse me. I'll have to reach around here and do it. Because it's on the back of my leg and I've scratched it through my pants several times. Oh, sweet relief. <laughs> I finally had to go and scratch the actual skin. Tell you what, this sucks. <laughs> I hate it. I have to. Uh, there was one day that it was so bad, so bad that I finally had to take a Benadryl. I was like, I sat there for 20 minutes. And twitched and everything else, <laughs> you know. I put on lotion. I mean, I tried everything, everything I could think of, and nothing would re relieve the itch. So I just finally said, Jeremy, I, I'm going to have to take a Benadryl. And he was like, oh, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, because he knew it would put me out for the rest of the day. <laughs> but luckily, it was like a Sunday. Like, Sunday, so I didn't have to work or anything. <clears throat> and I just kicked back in my chair and slept for the rest of the day. And then I slept all night, too. Because that's how I be. That's how I be. <laughs> that, that kind of stuff just messes me up. I just, I can't not tolerate it. I cannot. Hot toddy. I tell you what. Jeremy makes the best hot toddies. If you guys get sick, y'all just come on over to my house and I'll have Jeremy make you a hot toddy. I love it. I don't even drink and I can and he'll make me a hot toddy. And uh, he won't put as much like liquor and stuff in mine, but still, oh man, it makes me feel so much better. And then, of course, it puts me right out, so I sleep, and I don't cough, and all that. <clears throat> I love it. He uses honey. Does this not have any snippies? Is this a non-sniffy book? Okay, I was going to say, where's my snippies? I guess, I don't know. It's weird. Um, magical forest. Smells like I'm cooking. Smells like I'm... <laughs> smells like cookies baking in the oven. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't even talk to get... Or to give. Somebody out there going. <clears throat> Give me some of the, them there. Frosty gingerbread candles. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't like in my hick voice. I guess my husband would. He loves candles. He does get very excited. My stepmom used to sell party light. So every year we would get, you know, big a big box of candles. Yeah. 
Well, she stopped selling party light, but still, every year, we still get a big box of candles. And Jeremy looks forward to that every year. Because, I mean, she pretty much stocks him up for the rest of the year. Because I usually end up giving him most of mine, too. Because I just don't burn candles as much as he does. I kind of like... You know, I'll burn a jar candle. They're usually my favorite. I have my favorites from um, Yankee Candle. And so I usually do that. And and uh, my few that I like from the party lot, <clears throat> I usually pick like a couple of, because you know, she'll get me like boxes that I tend to like. But he likes them all. So I'll take like two of each out of my boxes. And then I usually just give him my boxes. Because that will usually last me all year. Because, like I said, I just don't burn them the way he does. I tend to do my wax burners more. Or my uh, diffusers. But he likes the candles. Do I like that? Do I want to keep it? Should I keep it? I guess it wouldn't hurt to keep a little piece. There's some stars, but I'm not going to keep them. I'm not going to be fiddly diddly. Fiddly diddly. <laughs> That's pretty. I like that. I'll probably cut that out. If there's not a rubbing scent, there he is. All right. All right. Here we go. Christmas wishes. Yeah, I'm getting Christmas off of that. It's got a berry scent and cinnamon. I'm getting a lot of cinnamon. All right, let's see what it says about it. <clears throat> Happy dreams of Christmas come alive with vibrant red cranberry. Yeah, there's that berry. Sweet pomegranate. Yeah, I can see that. And a dash of cinnamon. I think there's more than a dash, but it's, it's not overwhelming. Yeah, it's definitely that, that, you know, how, like, that cranberry, that tartness, you get that kind of tartness coming through. If you know what I mean, it's kind of got like a piney kind of scent in a way. I can't remember if I cut on the inside or the outside of the circle for my last ones. Oh, well. I'll cut this one on the inside. The next ones I'll cut on the outside. Mmm, that's nice. All right. Our first contender. We still have some left. Oh, I'm sitting here listening to the cats play. I tell you what, I have worked my butt off today. Absolutely worked my butt off. I'm tired. My butt's tired. <laughs> I scrubbed the bath bathroom. That's just was awful. I hate that. <clears throat> I did clean out from under the sink, which I've been meaning to do forever. And clean that out. And so that was nice to get done. I had clean part of the shower the other week, but I'm telling you what, it's so hard to clean my shower because we've got one of those shower doors and it's just hard to, for me to bend over and get in there and everything else. So, uh, actually I want these separate. So let me get on camera. So I had started doing that, cleaning that. And so you, the other day and then today I clean like underneath the sink the sink that we have like a medicine cabinet I cleaned in it I cleaned it and cleaned all the glass and cleaned the floor 
and clean the toilet and around the toilet. Gross, so gross. Sometimes it just really sucks <laughs> being the the family cleaner. Make every room festive. I'm thinking, so I stopped for a second. Because I think I want to cut this out and put it aside for my Christmas book. <clears throat> Can hear Willow squeaking in the distance. I wonder what she's excited about. This morning, I'll tell you what, she got some got really excited over a bird in the tree in the room. Um, uh, there's a window right there, <laughs> and there's a tree that butts right up to that window, and there was a bird that was like sitting in a branch, and she was just losing it, losing it. That tail was going. <laughs> she was chitting away. Those little back feet were planting down. She's so funny. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Surprise snowfall. That smells a lot like men's cologne. I'm getting a lot of pine from it. Maybe some berry, maybe a sweet, a sweet pine, but you know, it's like a men's cologne, but not as like strong, you know, like sometimes you smell men's aftershave and it's just really strong. And this is more of a hint of a men's cologne. I bet that would, it smells real clean. It's a clean scent. So swirling snowflakes brighten the crisp winter air with the fresh sense of verbena I didn't get any lemony scent. Let me try it again. Maybe it's in there and maybe I'm smelling it, but I'm real. The, that silver spruce is mainly what I'm smelling with that winter fruit, that kind of piney scent. That's what I smell, but it's a good smell. It's not overpowering. It's not like you know, when you pass some guy in the mall and you're just like, oh my God, did you use the whole bottle? <laughs> kind of thing, but it's, it's just more of a nice, clean scent. Like right after you clean a room with like pine saw and then maybe you put on a nice cup of Earl Grey. <laughs> And those two scents kind of swirling together is kind of what this is. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice scent. I like it. I keep putting that over there, but uh, that's not my trash pile. Those are cute. I don't want to cut any of them out, I don't think. I do want to set a mood, though. Jeremy got up, and he put the belt on my vacuum. Yay! <laughs> and not without me annoying him during the process. That's the story of our lives. It's tough being uh, married to me. He was struggling to put it on, the belt, and get the brush on. And then I was like, before you put the brush protector on there, it's like, will you let me clean that brush out real quick? And so I got the scissors, and I was like cutting the strings, you know, and I popped it out. <laughs> he was so mad. Well, he wasn't so much mad. He was so annoyed. <laughs> he went, <sighs> I just said, I'm sorry, and I walked off. <laughs> I knew better. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. It is. It's awful when you do that to your mate. You feel so bad. Maybe I will keep this and put it in my Christmas book. Oh, my itchiness is starting to subside. I was able to ignore some of it, especially in my legs. It's mainly my arms and my legs, and sometimes my chest will get involved. And if my chest gets involved, then usually I have to take a Benadryl to get it to calm down. 
which is why I kind of think it's more than just dry skin because it seems like if it was just dry skin then I could just um put on some lotion and it'd go away because like the, when I take my showers one of the last steps that I do is I have a thing of coconut oil in there and I just rub it all over my arms I also have a thing of baby oil and sometimes I use it but I'll just rub it all over my skin you know real good and um just as you know because if it's going to be dry skin that should help but I don't know it, it just seems to be I don't know, maybe it could be, but it just seems it's nerve related or something or whatever. And I read why, like it happens with your kidneys, but I don't remember why. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I like that. The little girls were so cute this morning. I had left one window halfway open in the living room overnight. And, uh, cause it wasn't warm enough to open up the whole house and all, but I gave them, you know, that's where they like to sit. So I got up pretty early this morning and I kind of snuck up on them sitting in the window and their little heads were looking out the window like this. <laughs> and it was just so sweet cause, uh, then they heard me and they both turned around, you know, and they both looked at me. <laughs> And it was just so sweet. And as soon as little Willow saw me, she jumped out of the window and came running to me. So I was like, oh, you mama's baby. So I picked her up and I just carried her back to the window and petted them both. Should I, do I want to share a little cheer? <laughs> Let's take it. I mean, the worst I can do is get rid of it later, right? Oh, man. Hold on. I got a leg itch. I wonder if this is what like cocaine bugs feel like because <laughs> they used to always say it felt like bugs crawling underneath your skin but mine feels more like there's like an ant like biting me it's like a, a single nerve or something like flares up <laughs> and it's like touch me touch me now <laughs> I have a, like a body brush that sometimes when it gets bad, I can, I can like brush my body, <laughs> brush my body with that. There you go. You can see me. And a lot of times that will help, but sometimes it'll make it worse before it gets better. And it's hard to suffer through. <laughs> it really is. This sucks. So I usually don't take a shower every day. I usually take a shower every other day and that seems to be fine. I can take a shower every day, but then it just becomes time consuming, all the, the scratching that I have to do. And it becomes detrimental to my skin because then I damage my skin by scratching. Nothing to smell on this one either. Come on, really? I bet that's freaking beautiful. I've got a silver one like this with like, I think it has like a diamond shimmer behind it. And oh, it's so beautiful. I don't remember if it's by Yankee Candle or not. It seems like it was. It seems like I got it on clearance when we were there, but no, that might've been my Halloween one. Hmm. I don't like three wick candles. What are your all's opinion? Man, my right leg. <laughs> Do y'all remember the Looney Tunes? That little flea. It was like this this little flea. It showed the flea, and he was all like, "Home around the corner, home around the corner." <laughs> and uh. And he made like his little th his little home on a dog, and then the the dog song was like, "There's a flea on me." <laughs> do you guys remember that? I I do, obviously. 
I love that. That was one of my favorites. One of my very, very favorite Bugs Bunny cartoons was The Barber of DeVille. Oh, man. I love that. I would watch just about every week because it came on about noon. So usually I would, because at the time I was working at Burger King, I was like a team leader, which is kind of like a shift manager, and I was uh, like 18, 19. And on Saturday mornings, I would get up, and then if I didn't work, I would watch cartoons all morning long. <laughs> and I usually didn't work on Saturdays. Unless I closed. If I was going to work on a Saturday, it was I was usually a closer. So I usually had Saturday mornings off, even if I worked. So I got into the habit of getting up and just watching cartoons every Saturday morning and just bumming around. And then I would go and do errands, whatever I needed to do, and then go to work. Like a lot of times I'd go hang out with my friends in the afternoon, and then I'd go to work about 4.30. So about noon was when cartoons ended, and uh, I always watched the Looney Tunes to see if they were going to play the Barbara of Seville. <laughs> I love that. When he gets on little Elmer Fudd's head and is doing this with his feet. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I love it. That smells a lot like um, baby powder. I'm trying to read what, what does it say? I guess I need, it's on the other side, so I guess I need to find the other side of this, huh? New Happy Morning. Berries, evergreen, and a touch of caramel. Baby powder is what I'm getting. It's, it's a nice clean smint. <laughs> it's a nice clean smint. But to me, it smells like baby powder. I mean, I don't know. I am a little stuffed up. So, my smeller may not be the best smeller in the world. Mm. So far, that very first one that I smelled was my favorite. Do, 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 do. Start the excitement. Experience festive fragrances. Oh, so giftable. You ever give candles as a gift? We have. We have, we've given uh, Jeremy's aunts candles before, and they enjoyed them. Both of them like candles, and they burn a lot of jar candles, so Jeremy picked them out some nice candles, and sometimes they those two aunts tend to get us candles, but I wish they'd just understand that we like Yankee candles and not get us like the other candles because we tend to buy them Yankee candles and we would like Yankee candles in return. <laughs> Just saying. Little toilet brush trees. Hot buttered rum. Wish I could smell that. I don't remember what Jack Frost smelled like. Seems like it was a mint. Winter cheer. Icy cool peppermint. Yeah. Snow cream. Yeah, that's what mint. It was a very, I remember it being a very cooling mint. You know, that's what I remember about it. I don't really want either one of these. I got so much to harvest, guys. You just don't even know. Don't even know. So is this, is this Christmas morning punch? Mm. 
Yeah, I like that. That's really fruity. Strawberry, cranberry, pomegranate. Yeah, it's a very fruity fragrance. That would be nice to burn. Uh, but that seems more like a summer scent to me. But I could. it would be good to burn, I guess, in the winter to make you think of those watermelon sugar highs. It's funny, guys. Watermelon sugar. I love that freaking song. And I came to the party late. So, so you're like strawberries. On the summer morning. Oh, here's one. Christmas wreath. Yeah, what you'd expect. <laughs> it's very piney. It just smells like pine. So I love watermelon sugar. But I also love the song Sugar by, Mar by Maroon 5. And so I didn't realize it, but I had made uh, a Pandora station of sugar. And then so I've got, sh I got my sugar station and then I have my watermelon sugar station. Because <laughs> oh, a lot of times I'll do that. If I find a song that I'm just really vibing with, then I'll make a Pandora station. I think that is the best feature that Pandora has because then I'll make a station of that song and then they p play like similar artists, some similar songs, and I just love it. That's just the greatest to me. So yeah, it's funny that I had made a sugar and then a watermelon sugar. Although, when I'm singing Watermelon Sugar High, it kind of makes me wonder, am I singing about drugs? Because <laughs> I feel like I'm singing about drugs. <laughs> Sometimes I'll say that to Ken and he'll be listening to the song and I'll be going, can I ask you a question? And he'll say what? And I'll say, is that song about drugs? Because I feel like that that song's about drugs. <laughs> oh, the other day, he was talking about his friend, and he was talking about me, and it's like his friend thinks I'm a cool mom, and I'm like, well, I really don't want to be a cool mom. <laughs> You know, I was like, I want to be a good mom. He's like, you are a good mom, but you're also cool. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess I'll take that. I mean, and I know I tend to be t more tolerant than most moms. Uh, but, you know, Kenna and I have had to have talks about things that most other parents don't have to have talks with their kids about. <laughs> I kind of like that, so I'm going to keep that for my Christmas book. Because when you have a kid who's not on the spectrum but has autistic tendencies, you don't have any guidance. Like, there's no support group for that. You're kind of flying on your own. <laughs> and I'm hoping I did okay. I think I did. He seems to be all right. He's 17. He failed virtual PE, but hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't even care because he was uh, on a track to graduate early. And so all this happened and... I had signed in, I had decided that I wanted him to go back to school and his dad agreed. But then at the last minute, his dad changed his mind and said he could do it virtual. And I was like, what? I was like, okay. And of course, Kenan did the exact thing that I knew he was going to do, which was just immediately not do anything. <laughs> So he's been able to pull up his English a little bit and his math, so he's not failing those. But PE was only like half, 
half a, a semester. So he's already finished with it, and there's nothing he can do to, to make it up. And so I talked to his advisor, and his advisor was like, I was like, well, is there, there, I was like, so you're telling me that even if he passes everything else that he needs to graduate, you're going to make him come back in the spring to do PE. And she said, yeah, that's right. And I said, okay, whatever you say. So the other day she wrote Cannon and I, well, she wrote me and Cannon and she's like, how's it going, Cannon? <laughs> How's it? Are you staying on track? And I'm like, why does it matter? You're making him come back in the spring. But I think it'll be good for him. Sorry, I didn't mean to slurp that all, but I was very thirsty. Um, he's got to come back in the spring. <laughs> but like I said, I, I mean, it'd be good for him to fail a little. It's good for all of us to fail a little, don't you think? And it's not gonna he's not gonna be behind or anything and he'll get to be with his friends so it doesn't really matter. Mmm, I like that one a lot. That has a lot of vanilla in it. Is this the magical Christmas? Where does it say anything about magical Christmas? <coughs> Cake batter, vanilla, that smells really good. I don't see anything about it. Hmm. Oh well. <coughs> it's good. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I tell you what, this post nasal drip, I just can't stand it. And I'll probably have it all my life. My aunt does. At least I don't, I don't have it as bad as she does, thank God. Because when she was my age, she had it terrible. So I always think, oh no, when I get older, it's going to be bad. Then I think back, well, no, because when she was my age, <laughs> she was, you know, I'm going to still be kind of probably the same. So. She gets bronchitis every year from it. From it. <laughs> I started reading that from it. From it. And she hardly ever gets any relief. Mine's just bad in the fall and in the spring. It's just allergies. And then I have maybe a little bit in the winter if it's like, if the weather's fluctuating really bad. Because it's like my sinuses. It's like if the weather fluctuates really bad, my sinuses cannot keep up. My sinuses are like, what's going on here? This is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. I've got two bowls in front of me. One says tiny, one says medium, and I'm just throwing them in whatever. I'm a terrible, terrible. I like those little apples. Aren't they pretty? I like that too, though. So I'm holding it up to the light to try to see what's behind this box. Some of the apples are. I'm sorry. I'm leaning back in my chair. <clears throat> ah, all right now. <laughs> it's ripping everything. He got caught on that. I'm a professional YouTuber. Follow me for more cutting tips. Cute. I love it. I 
get in my little strips. I don't really feel like saving any of those. Let's make it cozy. Is that a threat? <laughs> So, my town just canceled all the Christmas festivities, and that's so sad, the lighting of the Christmas tree and all that, but I saw it coming a mile away. I'm looking for another shutdown here pretty soon. I'd really like to go to work and get some of my crap out of my office. <laughs> I just don't know if my boss would like that very much. Harvesting AS ASMR. I'm going to leave that on there. <laughs> I need to stop sticking that in there. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Put the, just eliminate it all together. New Santa's cookies. Is there anything to smell? We're here to smell. No. There's nothing. Nothing. That sounded possessed. Nothing. Oh, ripped it. This candle reminds me of my childhood. Walking through the woods in Maine. Sorry, I cannot relate. I have never been walking in the woods in Maine. I have been walking in the woods in Tennessee, which consists of wondering if that stick up ahead is a stick or if it's actually a snake. <laughs> Reminding everybody that copperheads have little Hershey's kisses on their side. I might put that in my Christmas book. Nicole at Relax Cut Glue is killing me with the Christmas book. Go tell her I said that. Go tell her to cut it out. <laughs> I'm like, I am trying to resist here, girl. I thought she's just like, come on. Just one candy cane. You know you want to do it. <laughs> just glue down one candy cane. What's it going to hurt? <laughs> And I'm like, no, no, I'm going to wait. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I am, though, seriously waiting to work in my Christmas book. But I am, I have some Christmas catalogs that I am going to start harvesting for it. So, in essence, I am kind of working on it, but I'm just in the gathering image. It's kind of staged, not actually gluing them in and I've got a book that I started last year that I'm going to continue to work in this year and I have another book that I want to do but it's similar in size and I just now I'm like I don't know if I'll, I want to do it or not if I, or if I want to do excuse me a different size so I put it aside with it and we'll just see because I may end up doing that size because it's a, just like a half size. And then maybe having a composition book to do more full size type things like coloring pages or bigger images. Things of that sort. So. I 
do you guys know what you're doing for the holidays? What about Thanksgiving? We're going to his aunt's house. I think I've told you guys that. Um, and it makes the most sense because she cannot get around. She has arthritis. What is this called? I can't tell. Christmas something. I can't read what it says. Oh, that's nice. That smells like it's got cardamom in it. That's Magical Christmas Morning. We read about that. I don't remember it saying, but yeah, that's got... Mm, yes, girlfriend. <laughs> that's the winner right there. I can already tell you. I love that. That's got clove in it. It's got some cardamom in it, I think. It smells like it's got a little bit of pine. It, it smells like a wood fire. It's got that wood fire kind of scent. Oh, I just love it. That allspice kind of smell. Not old spice. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, man, I love it. Feel the warmth. cannot believe it's going to be Monday tomorrow. Where did the time go? I had such a hard week last week that I'm just not even looking forward at all to this week. I'm just saying that if it doesn't get better, it just better get better. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Putting my Christmas stuff behind me. I like these. Thinking about going and laying down and taking a nap after I do this. I deserve it. I worked real hard. I redid the foyer too. Did I tell you that? Where the cat box is. I reworked all that. Tell you what, that's the hardest thing about these cats is that stupid cat box because Rocky was an inside outside cat who preferred to use the bathroom outside. So he always kept a litter box for her in case she was inside and needed to go. She would use it, but nine times out of ten, she would just go outside and use it. And so now. They're inside cats, and that's where they pee and poop, and oh my god. Oh god. So tired of scooping the cat box already. We've only had them, what, a few weeks? <laughs> and we're like, how do you toilet train these cats? To me, that has a fruity cantaloupe kind of smell. Fruit, evergreen, and spice. Yeah, it has a lot of cantaloupe kind of smell. Maybe there is a touch of evergreen in there. I mean, there is some spice that kind of gives it a woodsy kind of thing. A balsam and cedar is one of my favorites. I like it pretty well. Uh, that is very similar on that, but it's more got that fruity undertone. It's almost like they took this scent and mixed cantaloupe in with it. And then, then you get that <clears throat> fruity. Uh, I took the sticker off this one. Dang it. It doesn't tell me what the fragrance is. Balsam and clove. Balsam and clove is my absolute favorite. Favorite. And this is really nice. Christmas tree in a jar. Yeah, I mean, it's pine. It's just a straight pine. 
Yeah, this is this is more of a straight pine smell, and this is more of a pine with fruit smell. So they're both they're both real nice. But if you're looking for more of that that Christmas tree smell, then go with this. That smells more like Christmas tree. This smells more like, have you, this, I, I don't know if you can relate to this or not, but a lot of times around the holidays, there'll be places that have real Christmas trees, and then they'll be like selling wassail in there, and uh, so the fragrances kind of mix. So it kind of smells like an old-fashioned Christmas in a way. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know if you can uh, relate to that or not, <laughs> because I don't know how, how Christmas is in your area, but in ours, we have that. That's so sad because we, I knew, I mean, we knew it was going to happen. I mean, come on. The cases are getting worse. My friend in England, talk, they're talking about shutting down over there. I think we're probably heading the same way here. So the fact that Knoxville shut down all their stuff. I saw it coming. They already shut down Festival of Trees because they couldn't plan it. All the planning happens like in March and April. and We were completely shut down then. So they didn't get to do any of that. Uh, so they couldn't do that. And so I think a lot of that, the same thing, is like the lighting of the Christmas tree and all those kind of plannings didn't get planned because of that. <clears throat> so one of the things that we used to always do is go to Norris Dam. And they would have a thing called Old Fashioned Christmas. And they have this these set of cabins in this circle in Norris Lake at the Norris at the National Park. North State National Park, whatever it's called. Why am I cutting all that out? I just want the magic remains. Uh, so it's like a circle kind of like this. And then they have like a little, so you start like right here and then it's like a little loop. And then they have like these little cabins and then they light the way with these little bags of candles and you walk down in each cabin something different. Like one will be making cookies and it, you know, we'll talk about like uh, making cookies and stuff back at the time that Norris Dam was being built. And then you'll go to a different area and it talks about, you know, they might have like some owls in there. And then they talk about wildlife and all that. So they usually bring the owls out um, for uh, Christmas because they can... They're, you know, they'll just sit there <laughs> and they're really interesting. You can get really up close to them and they're just really cool. But they bring the, li the little tiny owls that are about, you know, yay high. <laughs> and they're just so precious. And then we'll have some of the really big ones. Um, then one cabin is always about Native Americans. And that one's really interesting because they usually uh, have a bunch of different artifacts and then usually somebody from usually the Cherokee tribe because Cherokee's just right over will come over and he'll bring some of the stuff that his villagers have made and all that so that that's always really cool and one year though they were talking about sage and they started burning sage in there and oh man we all must have been evil spirits because we all just started coughing our heads off and running for the hills <laughs> I tell you what it was terrible it was absolutely terrible <laughs> me and Jeremy still talk about that every year <laughs> and they, my one of my favorites is uh, they have a guy that talks about the building of the dam He's such a great storyteller. And a lot of times we'll sit there for about an hour and just listen to him tell stories because he'll tell his story and then we'll sit there and I'll ask him questions. <laughs> and then he'll get talking about something else and he'll sit there and talk to us for about an hour. Then they have like uh, Santa. 
and then one of the cabins. And then, uh, sometimes they have one that's like set up like a family. Sometimes they have this cabin and sometimes they don't. That's like set up like a family would be there. And then sometimes they have it set up like when the workers were there. So it just depends. And then they have a place where you go in and it's a restaurant you can eat there. And they usually have like live music. And then they have a place where you can get hot chocolate. And that's always so nice. They have hot chocolate and wassail and all that. Oh, I just love that. So. It's going to be really sad that we're not going to be able to do that this year, but, you know, it is what it is, and we're just going to have to find our own fun to do, and that's just like this year. That's what we did this autumn. So we actually ended up, you know, taking a drive, taking a weekend and just driving again like we did in Denver. We, we were like, man, that worked out so good because, you know, we didn't really stop anywhere. We just drove a lot, and, you know, we were just gas stations, and then you'd go in and come back out and <laughs> slather down with sanitizer or whatever, but we didn't really go in a lot of places. So, in Dan at Denver, I don't ever use the front cover because of that. Because usually I have a coupon and I can't get it off. So, I just don't use the front cover. Although, I will use the inside. Because I bet even if I did finally peel it up, it would probably destroy the paper underneath it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Okay, my mother-in-law came by to drop off some hot tamales. So I saw her coming up the walk. She stayed and played with the kitties for a little bit. It's so funny because Willow, you know, you see her. And she's the one that always, you know, she's with us. She's always the first one to come and see us and, you know, say good morning or whatever. <laughs> you know, she comes to me in the morning and she wants to be picked up and, and all that. And then Ember's very much like a touch me not kind of cat. Like, I'll lay on you, but like, don't touch me with your human germs. I'll have to lick all that off. <laughs> but Ember loves people. So when people, oh, shoot. When people come over, then oh, Emperor's all about that. She loves that. Um, Ken and stepmom came over to drop off the uh, child support check, and Willow ran and hid. And that was really surprising to me. That was the first time she'd ever really, we've had company besides when Jeremy's mom and dad came over to meet the kittens. And then, of course, both of them came out immediately. But, you know, they barely even knew us. <laughs> so everything was brand new. Um, but when Tara came over, Willow ran and hid, and Amber was the one that wanted the attention, but she didn't know what to do, so she was afraid to walk up to Tara, <laughs> so she just kept walking up and down the stairs, walking up and down the stairs where Tara could see her. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. <sighs> And then she meowed, and she was like, meow! Because <laughs> that's how she meows. Her meow is just makes her sound like she's in distress. So Tara's like, oh, I guess you better go take care of that. And I was like, yes, I guess I better. <laughs> the stress was getting to her. Not, not Tara. All right. Balsam and Cedar is always a good choice for Christmas. 
but I actually prefer balsam and clove, which is what I have right here. Mm, that clove is just so yummy. Uh, then you got, this was that, was this Christmas morning? I can't remember now. I like that. Holiday wreath. I can't read that one. This one, the little boy, I think was my favorite. Wasn't it? I don't remember now. No, it wasn't Santa's cookies. Surprise snowfall, Christmas wreath. Mmm. So good. Christmas wreath's good. Christmas morning's good. Mmm. They're all good. Okay, I'm going to end the video here, and I will talk to you guys later. And I need to get back into my November glue book. Uh, um, oh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.